Liquidity providing is a game, and the game is to beat impermanent loss. In this calculator, you can actually do that scenario planning so that you don't end up losing more money than you would have by doing absolutely nothing at all. It's a little bit difficult to figure out on Uni V3 what the current earning potential is for any liquidity pool. And that's because of the way that the math is done. So if you want to liquidity provide on any Uni V3, whether that's on Ethereum or any other chain that supports Uni V3, you actually need to know what range of swaps you're going to cover with your position. By concentrating the swaps that you'll actually cover with your position, your liquidity is concentrated and liquidity concentration should lead to higher earnings. As of today, this calculation is only available for V3 on Ethereum. Liquidity providing in general on any DEX, you will expose yourself to impermanent loss. If you don't already have a strategy, I would encourage you, not financial advice, to pick two tokens that are highly correlated. That will help you avoid impermanent loss. The idea is you need to pick a pool that will earn enough fees to outpace the impermanent loss that you will almost certainly encounter in any liquidity position. Because frequently, if one token moves in price and the other token moves in price, you'll end up having a lower value of your tokens at the end of your time LPing than you would have if you just held the tokens the whole time. We also would say you'll be net down versus HODL. Let's say I want to pick Link WETH because Link is not a stable coin, so it has to be more correlated with WETH than it would be with Link USDT or Link in USDC. The app updates itself to reflect this particular pool. Purple boxes you might have noticed are for inputs and the green boxes are your outputs. And the purple boxes are pre-filled in with reasonable numbers, but you can change them. The left-hand column just gives you a little bit of information about where the price has been lately and the swap volume. Price is pretty important, but the swap volume is super important because you are going to earn a percentage of that swap volume by being a liquidity provider. In the middle column, we have design your position. So let's say I want to put in $1,000. You can change the pool price and the position range using either the numeric input or the slider. The idea here is to have a large enough coverage, so a wide enough position range that the price isn't going to quickly move out of my position range, which would mean I wasn't making any money. But I want it to be narrow enough that I can optimize my earnings. Keep an eye on this upper right hand box while I make the position narrower. When I change the position range, I'm changing the limits of what swap prices will be funded by my liquidity providing. And so in V3, if I have a narrower range, I have higher earnings, but a higher likelihood of earning zero. If I have a range of 241 to 249, I'm only going to be covering swaps where the ratio of width to link is 241 to 249. On March 7th, this pool went all the way down to 230. The upper bars show you that just yesterday, the pool price was up at 250. Since my range doesn't cover 230 or 250, I would not be getting paid for those trades. I'm only getting paid for trades that happen in between 241 and 249. Down here, we can estimate 24-hour swap volume. I usually don't change this at all because it's just the average of the last 10 days. But if you, for some reason, thought that link with the swap volume was about to go crazy and you want to know what your position might look like were that to happen, you can change this number. So I'll just multiply by 10 by adding a zero. Now I earn a lot more money. It's really hard, actually, to find a range and a current price that lets you put in exactly half of one token and half of the other. So this estimates what amount of each token you'll need to open this position on Uniswap. And there's a link here that will bring you right to that pool. This is the best part of the app. I've had a hard time finding good estimates of impermanent loss. It is easy to calculate how much you might earn in fees, but it's really hard to calculate impermanent loss. Let's say I don't actually think the price is going to change and I want to hold for 30 days. This will tell me that the new pool price is almost exactly the same as the current pool price. This is the future amount of WES that I'll have. This is the link that I'll have. The total value of my position, the fees that I earn will be $40 and I'll be up $40 versus HODL. Congratulations to me. So what if by some miracle we make it back over 2000 What will happen to my position? So it's not great. In those 30 days, while Link is staying the same and WETH is going up over 2000 I still earn $40 in 
fees, but because of impermanent loss, my new position value, which is right here, is only $1,005. But if I had just held that original 0.2 WETH at 95 link from down here, if I had just held that and done nothing, I would actually have $1,081, which means I will be down $34 versus doing nothing, which sucks. One last thing for all the true nerds out there. Down here at the bottom, we calculate out every single calculation and step. So if you have any question about where any of the numbers are coming from, it's all here at the bottom. And there's a link to a spreadsheet so you can go really deep if you want to. Thank you for watching. Have fun liquidity providing. I hope you find that scenario that helps you beat IL and become a crypto millionaire.